Hi, kindergarten. Well, today we are going to be working on the beginning sounds that we hear in words. So when we start to become really awesome writers, we want to start by listening for the sounds that you hear at the beginning of the words so you'll know how to start that word and then you'll know how to listen for the sounds that come in the middle and at the end of the word. So we're going to get started today with beginning of the word sounds. So what we're going to play is a little game with some picture cards that you will have at your house too. So first you can watch Mrs. Oberg play the game and then when we're all done with our work today, you guys can play the game yourselves at your house. So, all right, so let's get ready. I've got some picture cards here. And my first picture card is a moon. Moon. Do you hear the sound mmm at the beginning of that word? Moon. And I'm gonna put the moon right up here. So now let's listen and hear what we hear at the beginning of the next card. Take a peek, think in your brain, say it in your brain, say it out loud. Mitten, mitten. Do you hear the same moon? Mitten, do you hear the same sounds together? At the beginning of the word, moon, mitten. They do sound the same, so I'm going to put that card right underneath in my chart. All right, let's take a peek at our next card. Think about it in your brain. Say it out loud. This is milk, milk. Do you think milk should go with moon and mitten? I hear the same mmm, m sound at the beginning. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So I am going to add that to my chart. Moon, mitten, milk. All of them begin with that mmm sound. All right, so now to keep playing this game, I have more cards. And you have to help me decide if it has the same beginning sound like mmm. And if it does, we'll put it in our chart. If it doesn't, we're just going to put them over to the side, okay? So let's take a peek at this card. Duck. Duck. D, d, duck. Do you think that sounds the same at the beginning as moon, mitten, and milk? Nope, it doesn't, does it? Duck does not begin the same as moon. So we'll put that over to the side. Let's take a peek at our next picture. House. House. Think about it. Moon, house, mitten, house, milk. Nope, doesn't work, does it? <gasps> Not mm, mm, mm. All right, let's take a peek at our next one here. Mouse, mouse. Does it sound the same as moon, mitten, milk? Mouse. It does. Let's put mouse right on our chart. All right, we'll play with a couple more. Oops. Dog. Dog. What do you think? D dog. Dog. Moon. Mouse. Nope, dog doesn't work. Can't put that on our chart. All right, I've got one more for you that we'll play together. Then you'll have all these pieces at home and you can play the same game, okay? Let's take a peek at my last picture card. Bell, bell, b, bell. 
moon, bell, mitten, nope, b, b, it's a b, isn't it? So you play this game at home and have fun. Now remember, these beginning sounds help us to write words. And as we start to write our words, we can always think about how the word starts. And that's how we get started by writing the word, is the first sound, right? And we'll work later on the sounds we hear at the end of a word and the sounds we hear in the middle of a word. So have fun and then use this strategy when you're writing words in your journals or when you're writing maybe a letter to somebody important and work hard, listen for those beginning sounds. Thanks guys, have a great day.